Hello and welcome to the fifth tutorial of series two. In this lesson, we're going to be making a simple structure in the form of a bus stop. Now I want you to learn how to create complex looking objects whilst using very simple techniques. I'll be mainly using the line tool and the extrusion modifier to create something similar to what we have here. Now before I start, I'm just going to hide this. So I'll make a layer. I'll call it current and say hide. See, so it's already hidden whatever we had there. Let's select everything else and then move them onto that new layer. Go back to our current layer. Then I'm going to start from here. Let's start off by going to our command panel and making sure the create panel is selected and then go over to your shapes tab. Take the line tool Go over to your left viewport, maximize that, just zoom out a little bit, and then click anyway to start drawing, but try and make your drawing similar to mine if possible. So click there. So I'm making it slightly different to what we had before. So just click there. Click and drag about here. And then click again. Press backspace if you happen to make a mistake, like I just did there. I think that's okay. Just drag it out and then connect them. Say yes. Now, once you've done your shape and you're happy with it, if you want to fix it, don't forget to go over to your modify panel, select the vertices or the vertex, and then select whichever one you want to modify or move around a little bit. So yeah, say that's fine. Now with that shape still selected, go over to your modify panel, drop down the list and select extrude. And you notice this is what we have. Make it quite thin, maybe around that, that size. One thing you can now do, go to whichever viewport you feel comfortable with. I'll go to the perspective viewport. Just hold down shift and then click on the red arrow and then just drag to whichever direction. I think I'm, I'll move it here and I'm happy with that. As soon as you let go, you get the clone options uh, pop-up window. Now this allows you to either copy, instance or reference that particular object. But in this case, we just want to copy it. Not just once, we want to copy it a couple of times. Maybe six times, for example. As soon as you hit OK, and there you go. That's what we just made now. Now what I want to do is add a section which will hold them all together. So that could be a piece of glass or metal or anything. Just go ahead and hold down shift one more time. Click and drag. I'm using the top viewport this time. And then when you let go, just make sure it's one. And then we've got our one object. Go over to the left viewport and click on the line and then select vertex. When you do that, just start selecting some of these vertices and dragging it slightly towards the middle. And you notice there's a soft green line behind that because we're making this smaller than the original shapes or 
objects we, we had. I'll show you why we're doing this in a second. It will all make sense. So as you can see, this shape is not perfect, but what I'm really trying to show you on this is how you can use very basic principles to create things that look a little bit more advanced. So once you're happy with that, you just click away, but make sure you've got your extrude back on. And what that now means is this is much thinner than the other objects. So what we can do is go back to the extrude modifier and just, and just increase it as much as we can until we cover all the areas we want. If you want to leave one of them empty, that's fine. You can always stop it there. Go ahead and copy this over by holding down shift, click and drag. And then you can say copy again once. And that's what we have. So we've got two different sets of objects, but you notice we've got these ribs still showing. Let me just um, remove the edges. So this is our model. We've got those ribs showing because of what we did to the duplicated version. If you're not happy with that, you just delete that, go back to this and continue increasing the extrusion amount. You can either click and drag down these arrows and you can simply enter numbers. They do both do the same thing. I prefer using the arrows. So, and there you go. This could be a bus stop, it could be anything. But most importantly, it doesn't really look that basic anymore. Now, we can go ahead and add a little little bit of a little bit of a road there so we could say this is the pavement this is the pavement and then this is the road and there you go we've just made a bus stop within the last few minutes now as for this tutorial I think I will uh, end it there Basically, I just wanted to show you how to duplicate some of these objects and create whatever you want with them. One thing you'll notice in the future is that we'll be duplicating a lot of objects in order to create our scenes. But as for today's tutorial, thanks for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next lesson. Bye for now.